It must be torment for you, but nothing compared to the torment that he must be going through. Be carrying Brooke's baby for all those months, giving birth to a child that you share with Brooke. I mean, every time she looks at Jack's face, she sees Brooke. Have you thought what might happen to Taylor if the torment is too much for her? I mean, she's not going to be able to be a good mother. She's not going to be able to be a good wife. You... to that poor baby. Oh, Nikki, hello. hello. Thank you for coming. The reason I called you is because I just need your help sorting out this, this mess. I mean, Clark, he, he's very, very sweet, darling, but, well, his business acumen, quite frankly, is... What's the matter? Nothing, mother. Don't you mother me. What? It's Taylor, isn't it? Something's wrong with Taylor. I told you. I told Everything you. Everything is fine, Mother. We had a very good morning. Actually, she's doing much better, so you can tell those wheels in your head to stop spinning. How can everything be fine, Nikki, when every time she looks at Jack, she sees Brooke's face? And that is going to haunt her forever. I love you, I really do. But I just can't sit and listen to any more of your doom and gloom about how Taylor's going to be haunted the rest of her life by this. Obviously, she's vulnerable right now. It's a tough situation. But she's an intelligent woman. She's a psychiatrist, for God's sake, and she's dealing with it the best way she knows how. And I believe we're going to be stronger in the end for it. I appreciate the fact that you are an optimist. It's just that I don't... Just take a minute that... and think about what you're saying. Think about what this woman has done for me. Think about what she's done for you. You wanted to be a grandparent just as much as I wanted to be a parent. She has grown children, and she agreed to have a baby for me. She went through the heartbreak of infertility. She did the IVF with an anonymous donor for me. So don't stand here and tell me that Taylor is too distraught and incapable of being a mother to my child. Look, I know you're grateful to Taylor for giving birth to your son. But that anonymous donor that you spoke of isn't anonymous anymore. It's Brooke, and Brooke is the woman that you love most in this world. <laughs>